Hello guys in the last video we have discussed what is angular js and the key features and components of angular js now let's have step by step look that how to start using angular js so to make a simple demo using angular it needs three steps the first step is to include angular js script second step is to include ng app directive into your shell page ng app will instruct angular js that this is a angular application and ng here represent angular ng app directive auto bootstrap angular js application ng app directive will scan the complete document and process all the angular js functionality once you have refer ng app after this you can do data binding operation using directives now let's see how these three things will fit together so the first step is quite easy you just need to refer your script in your html to do so you can grab the script copy it locally and reference it into your html page or the second way you can use by using google cdn the next step we need to tell angular that this is angular app including the script is not enough so we will do it by adding a directive ng app you can add it on the html tag or if you want you can add it on the body tag as i told you adding this will allow you to do cool stuff like data binding so here is an example of input that allow user to type their name as they type their name we will capture what they have typed in a property in a model object and the model object is just an object that holds the data and we can name that property name this ng model here is a directive now we want to bind this data to my view using data binding expression you need to put double curly brackets and then the name of the property that you want to bind here we have defined a property ng model name so you just need to put this property name in this double curly brackets so whatever user will type on this text box it will write here in place of this data binding expression so now let's jump on some practical demonstration so to write angular js code we need a editor so any editor you can use for angular js application but as of now i will use sublime text 3 so if you are new to sublime you can download this from its site you just need to head to this website sublimetext.com and you can download it for any operating system i have already downloaded it for my windows machine and here i have created one folder in this folder i have one file index.html where i will write my angular js code so the first step if you remember to start angular js we need to include angular script this is the first step so to include angular script you need to move to this site angularjs.org and download it from here as i told you there are two ways to include script either you can download it from here and store it locally in your folder and then you can refer and second you can directly use this cdn as of now for my this demo i have already included it in my folder angular.min.js you just need to refer this script by writing script src angular.min.js you can put this script in head or in the body i refer to put it down in the body the reason for that it allows html load first then my script can load the second step i told you you need to add a directive ng app in your shell page and this is my shell page so it basically instruct angular js that this is angular application and scan the complete app for angular js functionality and process it so you can add it in the html tag here or in the body tag or maybe in any other container tag after this let's do some data binding operation here i want to create a text box that will allow user to enter their name so now i need a property and i want to bind that property to this text box so in angular the easiest way to hook a control to a property is to use ng model so you can write ng model is equals to the name of your property that you want to bind 
as of now I am giving its name name now it will take care of any changes anything you will put in this text box that value will automatically put in the this name property now to bind this property to your view angular use expression and it represent by two curly brackets anything you will write here it will output to its value so I want to bind the name property value to this view so you just need to write the property name here and my property name is name so now anything you will type in the text box it will be visible here so let's run this program and check so on this text box suppose I, I want to write hello world so whatever I will type in this text box that will be copy or store in the ng model property and I if you remember I bound that property here in the data binding expression so if you do any changes it will reflect automatically now the one point you need to remember it's not mandatory to write ng app here only if you will write ng app here it will work exactly the same way refresh the page and again check it's working but what if you if you will not write ng app here now you can check if you didn't write ng app data binding expression is not working so you need to be remember that whenever you want some angular js functionality need to be processed your angular will only understand when you will write this ng app directive now you can say without writing any dom you are able to do this cool stuff angular js is quite cool and strong and we will discuss more in interesting stuff that you can do with angular in the coming videos so this is all for today hope you like today's session and if you like my video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel see you in the next video till then bye bye